Hey guys, this is Ash here again at Flight Sim Reviews, and today I wanted to do a review on the Track IR Track Clip Pro for the Track IR 5. So, um, this is a more expensive version of the uh, Hat Clip um, that Track IR seems to uh, promote that uh, works better in low light because it's emitting its own infrared and uh, it's more accurate than the uh, Hat Clip. Um, my experience with it was very different. And that's why I just wanted to do a separate review for it. Um, th basically, the uh, Track IR Pro clip, I think, was a great idea that was executed poorly. Um, it, it really shows that Track IR was thinking um, they were nice enough to give you a female USB clip so that the Track IR could plug in through and then still only chew up one of your USB um, cables. Um, it can all run through the same cable. Um, where they weren't thinking was um, not only do they expect you to be wearing a headset um, to clip it onto, um, mine mine pretty much uh, flaked out and broke. Um, I guess maybe my headset was a little too wide. Um, it does adjust on the top for width of your headset, but even on the um, biggest setting, mine still ended up bending off this little uh, cheap clasp it has and uh, it won't lock shut anymore. Um, but that really isn't my big gripe with it, even though it is uh, broken. <laughs> my biggest gripe with it is um, the LEDs. Um, these are infrared LEDs, and basically, um, if you watch my other review, the Track IR typically emits its own infrared light, and then it's reflected off this hat clip with these little reflective stickers. And that's how it determines the position of your head in front of your computer monitor to do what it does. Basically what they're trying to get around is that if you're in a really bright room or a lot of sunlight, um, sometimes the sunlight ends up being brighter than the infrared emitted from the track IR and uh, it gets confused. So the idea behind this was, well, um, you select it in the software and it looks for these three points of light in this pattern instead of these. And these are obviously infinitely brighter than something that's emitted and reflected back. Um, in practice though, the problem I had with it is if you would turn your head maybe 15, 20 degrees, the plastic on the housing um, would begin to block the infrared off the LEDs. So then the track IR couldn't see it any longer. Uh, I may demonstrate this in the, my software portion of the track IR review. Um, the track IR is a sweet, sweet product and uh, I love it to tears. But um, this thing was a total waste of 40 bucks. Um, uh, if I could return it, I probably should have. Um, it, it turns and swivels and stuff like that, so uh, you can get it to work with your headset. But um, first of all, not everybody plays with a headset. I, I've never played Flight Sims with a headset. I, I use a desktop mic um, that I'm recording with right now to do my uh, air traffic control. And, uh, you know, why design something that has to be worn... Uh, on a headset. Not everybody uses a headset or headphones and not everybody wants to so that totally limits the uh, the practicality of this product um, and it also uh, you know it doesn't work. I mean that's really what it boils down to. Uh, anytime I would go past about here either the uh, the emission of the light from the LEDs is too narrow or the plastic housing gets in the way. I don't know but as soon as I go about 15, 20 degrees left or right, the track IR instantly could not see the light from this device any longer. And of course, you know, my computer screen starts, you know, flipping out because the track, track IR is trying to figure out where you're looking. And uh, it just totally was worthless. So um, this thing, I don't know if they've improved it. This one's about a year old, I think. Um, I don't, maybe they've improved it. I don't know. But um this is one that I would shy away from. I'm not even going to do a final review on this one. Um, if, if you're looking at the Track IR Pro Clip, it totally didn't work for me. It was a total waste of 40 bucks. So um, I used I used the cheap hat clip, and I've never had a problem, guys. Even in bright rooms, uh, lots of sunlight um, that would typically, you know, you would think would mess it up. This thing does just fine. And this thing, um, I had nothing but problems with it. So um, if you're looking at the Track IR5, I cannot speak highly enough to uh, shy away from that. Um, maybe Track IR has improved it. Maybe somebody in my comments can go ahead and say, hey, 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 Ash, 
you know, it's not as crappy as it used to be, but um, I just want to save you 40 bucks. That's an add-on plane. There are a couple of them. <laughs> so uh, this thing, not worth the money. The Track IR, definitely worth the money. So anyways, guys, um, I hope that helps you save a little bit of coin, and I hope you stay tuned for more flights and reviews. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up. That's how I climb that YouTube ladder of views, and I always appreciate you watching. Thanks again, guys.